Hello everyone, we are headed into May, and so I wanted to give us some uh, little updates here on some things as we move into our last month of the school year, believe it or not. Um, many of you were able to attend the Twins game uh, this weekend. Uh, awesome. At least we had good weather this year. Last year was cold, although I, I understand that it got cold to the end. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to attend as I had planned, but uh, I'm looking for, you know, maybe thinking about uh, some, some different ways of doing that in the future, and hopefully we get, you know, some more people to attend and, and have a good community event for us that way. Um, we are wrapping up the MCA tests for third, fourth, and fifth grade, moving into what we call our FAST test, which is just a kind of another screener to see how we're, you know, how kids are progressing and, and how we can improve. Uh, this week, we have the uh, honor of having a, re uh, a residency here, a uh, West African drumming and dance residency uh, from from Ghana, and it, so far it's been absolutely amazing. Uh, sitting in my office or walking through the halls, we're hearing these this loud pounding of these drums. Uh, it, it's it's I think your kids are going to be really really impressed, and and uh, be sure to ask them some good questions about that. May first, Tuesday night, May first is the plant sale uh, pickup the book fair, buy one, get one free, and the recess rodeo. So it's a big night here at Eagle View. Uh, hopefully you're able to come out uh, and uh, take care of that. Uh, thank you for our PTO for helping out with those and all the volunteers that go with the, the plant sale pickup, the book fair, and and uh, our staff that uh, lead the recess rodeo. It's a really fun activity for all. Uh, the Apex fun run, uh, the classroom visits are continuing this week. Kids are absolutely jacked and excited about this whole thing, and we have the fun run May 3rd, um, this, this coming Thursday. So there are different times for each grade level. You are invited to come out and, and uh, watch your kids run, and, and again, all the, all the money that you donate for, for the, the, the laps that they run goes to help fund all the, the field trips, which there are numerous coming this spring yet here. So it helps, you know, do those t those types of things, and and helps us in so many different ways that you know we don't have that access in the in the school budget for. So thank you to the PTO and for all of your support uh, as parents and families that are that are viewing this and that. Next week, May seventh to the eleventh is Teacher Appreciation Week. So uh, you know, I I know. You know, the teachers kind of get beat up a little bit in, in the news, with test scores and all these different things that go with it, but it's really a very critical job. So um, anything that you can do to reach out just with a quick little email saying thank you. I know our teachers really appreciate it and certainly don't expect it, but it is a nice way. And, uh, you know, I sure do appreciate the team that we have here. And it, it's a job that is, it is way beyond a 40-hour-a-week job. So, um Thank you for, for your support of our teachers here at Eagle View. And, and uh, again, if there's any way that you can reach out and just say thank you, I think they would appreciate that. It is the fifth grade band concert for the entire district of New Prague at New Prague High School. So that, that's a really cool event, too. They've all done their kind of individual things throughout the year, and they wrap it up with a big fifth grade band concert um, held in, in the auditorium at the high school. Beginning May 11th is the Great Book Return Race. So uh, dig under those beds, you know, under the piles of clothes, in the closets, yeah, on the bookshelves, figure out where those missing uh, library books are and please get them in. Um, if your child is going to be attending summer school, the deadline is May 11th for that. So please uh, keep that in mind and, and get that in so we can figure out sections and and how many teachers we'll need for the summer, how many classrooms we'll need to, to allocate. Uh, a lot of different uh, things are coming up with that. Last couple things I wanted to touch on, uh, safety. Uh, we have lots of kids biking to school, which is awesome, riding skateboards or you know, rollerblades or whatever, all those types of things. So just please stress the idea of how to cross the street appropriately, You know, always going with somebody else, wearing your helmet, uh, really important. Another piece that, that, is, that is critical for us here at school is that they're wearing appropriate shoes. Uh, we really can't have them out on, out on the playground with the wood chips if they're in flip-flops or sandals. Um, with gym classes, there's still you know, a lot of running and things like that that we need to do. And then when they go on the field trips, they need that as well. Um, speaking of field trips, make sure that they have you know, sunscreen and bug spray and a bottle of water. All those little things you know, help with the safety piece. Now that we think that we actually have spring, 
hopefully. Um, come and check out the Lost and Found because it's still overflowing with winter stuff. And uh, we will be donating that in the very near future. Uh, fall enrollment. If you know, which would be sad, but if you know that you will not be attending Eagle View next year, please let the office know so we can update our numbers. And uh, it, it helps us with the staffing piece again. And we are moving into creating next year's class classroom placements. So we need to know um, how many kids and how many teachers we'll have based on all those numbers. So that takes me into the last piece, and, and it's uh, educational requests. If, um, if you have the need to, to make a request for a, um, a classroom that your child will be in, I, I, we will not accept specific teacher names, okay? But we, what I would like from you, and just shoot me an email or send me a, a note, um, if there are certain characteristics of a teacher, if there are students that they don't get along with that maybe we don't understand, or if, you're a fifth, if your child's going into fifth grade and there was an issue in second grade that maybe we have forgotten about, uh, please let us know that. Um, are there any concerns or are there any strengths that your child would do better with? Uh, we take a lot of things into consideration when we make class lists, and um, it's really important for us to know those things. Um, we will certainly do the best we can to honor any request. Again, not specific teachers, but you know any characteristics, traits, strengths that, that would be beneficial to their educational experience. That's what we're looking for. I'm going to need those by the end of this week, May 4th, um, so that we can start to do those those uh, uh, Im important class lists in, pr in preparation of next year. I do have to say one last thing is that there are no guarantees. If you put in there that so-and-so will can't be with this kid and that kid or whatever it might be, or I really want so-and-so to be with Johnny or Susie, there are no guarantees. I do the best we can. It's not all up to me but I do have the final say. Our teachers and, and other specialists work together to make these lists um, with a lot of different criteria. So we want to make sure that we have all kids in the right situation as best we can, but we have 600 kids and, and uh, uh, you know, we want to do what's best for every single one of them in every situation. So as always, please reach out to me if you have any questions. Um, I want to thank you for your support. And uh, hopefully we'll see you at school with one, one of the many events that we have going on. Uh, have a great day.